Okay, busy day planned. Temporary FPV. Uh, so we're still waiting on Sean. Sean says he's got a cord he's going to send me so that we can hook this up and actually use the FPV on the unit. But for today, what I've done is I've gone ahead and just charged up that one cell battery inside of here. I've got it set for 100 milliwatts, and I moved it back away from the GPS, which is right here. Um, I'm not going to run it at 200 milliwatts, which is what the unit itself runs at, because it's on top, and I don't want signal interference. We're trying to cut back on as much signal interference as possible. But uh, gimbal's hooked up all the way, 100% working. Uh, I finally got the battery charged up for the Hubson camera, so this will be the first run for the Hubson camera. Um, I will have FPV on my screen. I've gone ahead and tuned in the signal so that it uh, connects properly with the transmitter, so I'll have FPV on the transmitter for my flight. I don't know how far I'll be able to push 100 milliwatts out here, but it is a beautiful day. There's very little wind. This should be a, a pretty good flight, and hopefully things go smoothly and we don't lose a 109s today i went ahead and fixed the zip tie on the end here because i still felt a lot of movement in this camera so i went ahead and tightened the other half down with the zip tie here so we'll uh, we'll see what happens here man um, we're going to be running the h109s master air screw props they're a lot thicker i think we'll get much better uh, air management out of this than the stock props that come on it they're very flimsy so uh, this is a very heavy unit uh, it weighs probably more than your Phantom 3s do. It's, it's definitely got a good amount of weight to it, and I've definitely added about 40 grams here with this setup, at least 40 to 45 grams with that setup in there. So, it'll uh, be interesting. We'll see how we do. We're not going for a very long flight. Um, we're just going to go ahead and take it out here and cruise it around a little bit, see how the uh, Hubson camera works on there, see how the gimbal's working, see if we're still getting any kind of shake. I do have the anti-vibration pad so they can have some movement, so we should be good to go there. So, let's, uh, let's take this thing out and see how it does man Sean I've been working on this thing slowly trying to get it to that 99 100 percent mark and I think right now we're at about 85 percent complete all we're really waiting on is that cord and we're gonna see if we're gonna have to tune the gimbal at all so we'll learn a lot about the gimbal today with the camera on here because last time I had the GoPro on there it was a little shaky so we'll see what happens man uh, this is why we test things this thing's been sitting on the shelf for a while so I figured today put a little hot glue on the top here put a clip on there give myself some FPV and uh, without having to wear the goggles and we'll have a little bit of fun so see you guys in a sec all right everything's set up here waiting on satellites I got six satellites right now I have FPV I don't know if you guys can see that I definitely have FPV on there we make a few camera adjustments here before we take off. I am already recording, so we should be good there. Still waiting on satellites, man. I just picked up seven. I'm gonna wait till I got eight or nine here before I really take off. Get this thing in the air. All right, guys, let's take off here. I'm gonna get her in the air. She's up. So well, she's gonna hold her position lock. Give it a sec to figure out its position lock. There it is. Send her out a little ways. Send her over here. And yes, I can see. Let's go ahead and straighten the camera out a little bit here. All right, just checking on the gimbal here, guys. Bring her back in. Let's straighten out the camera. Get her till she's nice and straight. Bring her down a little bit. Excellent. Let's go have a little bit of fun. Good FPV.
All right, seem to be doing fine. No issues here. All right, let's take her out for a little flight here. I definitely can tell I have way better air management with these props on here. It's not wanting to stumble on itself all the time. You can actually go up and down rather quickly with this without it wanting to wobble. So we've managed to eliminate the wobble. Holding its altitude nicely. I can tell the sticks need to be calibrated because when I'm pushing forward, it's wanting to go left a little bit. <laughs> it's definitely holding its altitude very well. This thing is functioning way, way, way better.
Good FPV. It's just hanging out. I got 10 satellites. It's doing superb, man. Let's, uh, let's bring her in. She's got a lot of weight. And there's my battery limit. Let's bring her on in here. And start setting her down. Oop, dug in a little bit, just kind of tipped over on landing there. Not the best landing spot. Well, there you go, man. Uh, definitely 10 times better air management with these props on here. Uh, it feels so much better to fly it. FPV was pretty solid, only at 100 milliwatts. I was able to get out there ways before I started getting some breakup, but it'll be really nice to actually get that camera wire and get that thing off the top. But I'll tell you what, man, a very good flight. Uh, a lot of fun. So if you guys have one of these, I suggest that you probably pick up a set of these uh, Master Air Screw props for the 109S because the air management is 15, 20, 30, 50 times better, man. Uh, it doesn't have all that stability wobble issue coming down, going up. And the problem was fully loaded. The stock props just did not do well. So there you go, guys. I, I loved the flight today. It felt very good. I didn't have any of that crazy wobble it's been doing with the stock props on there so definitely master air screw man works for the solo phantom these are the actual 109s ones and i have a little bit larger ones but i'm not sure i'm going to try them because i think these are it's happy median i think it really loves these so let me stop all this recording put this footage up and i hope you guys enjoyed that man i was really just kind of playing around so hopefully you don't judge the flight i was testing things and jerking it around and playing with the camera so Please be aware this was testing purposes. It wasn't really designed to take amazing footage I just wanted to see how the camera was gonna work and how everything was going so all right guys catch you on the flip man to the